barbarians. Or rather, what happens if the champion fighter subclass gets a whole ass class instead? As you can guess, I'm not a big fan of them, but... Anyways, uh, they are strong, they are durable, they hit hard, and that's about it. They are the personification of everything wrong with martials in this game. They are boring, dull, uninteresting as a class overall, but we have videos to do, cannot complain. So, not to prolong the introductions, let's begin with the level 1. Also, they get the highest hit dice in the game and very bad proficiencies. When we start with barbarians, we get rage and unarmed defense. Two most iconic features of the class, pretty much. Rage as a bonus action, you can enter rage, which gives you a plethora of things like advantage on strength, checks and saves, extra damage on attacks, and most importantly, resistance to all physical attacks, which is pretty dope. The rage lasts a minute, though you have to be hit or hit some to extend it, otherwise it lasts a turn. You can use it a number of times equal to a funky column on barbarian table per long rest. You also cannot cast or concentrate on spells while it's active. That was a big one. Huh? Let's transition into the unarmor. The defense very fun albeit a bad feature. While you aren't wearing armor your AC is equal to 10 plus dex plus con modifiers. Not only does it make barbarians very MAD or mad, but also makes their AC literally worse off than if they could just wear armor. One saving grace, I guess, is it, it does allow you to equip shields, I guess. But if you aren't using two-handed weapons as a barbarian, uh, what are you doing? Level 2, Reckless Attack and Danger Sand. Both decent features, I'll be in the boring. Can you see a theme here? Danger Sands, basically you gain advantage on deck saves against stuff you can see, like spell spells, visible traps and such. Then, reckless attack, which is pretty much the exact opposite. When you start attacking, you can decide to do so, one might say, recklessly. You gain advantage on all strength-based melee attacks for the turn, however, until your next turn, all attacks against you have advantage. Not the worst feature, then again, advantage is super easy to get in 5e, so it's pretty much more DM dependent. If they are more stingy with your advantages, this feature is pretty nice. If not, I wouldn't use it. One saving grace, again, is that it doesn't really have a limit, you can just use it every turn. Level 3 and others. A subclass levels become level 4, 8, 12, 16, 19. Uh, boring stat level and standard progression. Level 5. One of the only 5th levels you get something more than extra bonk. You get extra bonk and fast move. Movement. Extra bong is what it says. Bong bong. Past movement, however, is a feature they share with monks, at least partially. Basically, when not wearing armor, you're faster. Nothing groundbreaking, although it does help tremendously. Level 7. Moving on. Feral instincts is instinctive. Pounds. The young barbarians are currently rather tightly packed as far as 5e classes go. That doesn't help with them being boring, but however anyways. Feral instincts. Non-feature. You cannot be surprised, but only if you rage on the turn, you would be surprised. Name one DM that uses surprise. If it does come out, I mean, okay, yeah, you get a turn when your other party members don't, but other than that, uh, that nothing. That, why is it a 7th level? And then, instinctive pounds. Make it so you can move up to half of your speed when entering rage. Very, very nice, actually. It deals with one of the most glaring issues with melee focused martials that is 
a 35 feet gap between them and an enemy Woo! or rather a, a bit larger for barbarians because they get that extra speed but shush level 9 brutal criticals when you crit you add one more damage dice to the equation it doesn't double my you, you just add it the number of dice increases further at 13th and 17th levels this one is dope because it actually makes you question your weapon choices do you go for more reliable damage sources like great swords that will be less powerful when you crit or do you go for more swingy options like great axe that will yeah most of the time be a little bit worse in the grand scheme of things however will deliver nuclear attacks when crit you know that that's nice that is epic level 11 relentless rage that one features that zombies get dying is slowly becoming even less likely for that if your hp which is zero when you are raging you can roll a con check to drop to one instead the dc starts at 10 and increases each time you use it per short rest going by five level 15 persistent rage your rage doesn't end unless you dismiss it or become unconscious Whoa. i mean your p i guess i mean rage is very easy to maintain so Wah. epic clap clap please level 18 indomitable might if the number rolled for a strength check is less than your strength score you can use your score instead basically guaranteeing a 20 you are barbarian nice feature comes way too late especially with the fact that strength is such a niche check especially if it just check you know it doesn't help with saving throws and so we arrive at crossroads once again will you have a decent feature to cap off the class or will we once again be disappointed instead well primal champion is our subject today your strength and con scores increase by four and your cap for both goes up to 20 as well honestly as boring as i'd expect from both capstones and barbarians combined anyways for feats do whatever works on fighters however remember only melee because rage barbarians are boring all things considered as a class they don't really bring much to the table all in all they are less versatile fighters have less damage than paladins don't really fit the theme of unarmed slash unarmored warriors as monks do they just kind of exist in this edition at least i don't really anything for me they just don't hold candle to anything in 5e anyways that will be it for me today sorry for a rather sporadic uh, release schedule for i started school again so things are a bit hectic regular releases will be back short